Hello, I'm Keith Burnell from Real General Practice. Real General Practice, preparing you for real general practice. The following audio clip is a consultation about stress presenting with a physical symptom. Let's hear it for our GP. A way of looking inside holistically. Bring out the changes with our GP. Skills improving, risk removing, no confusing. Come in. Hello. Hi Erica, nice to see you. How are you? I'm alright. I've just been having a really stiff neck. Mm. And I've been starting to get really bad headaches as well, like in the back of my head. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just been really annoying. <laughs> okay. How long's that been going on? Quite a while now. Um, a couple of weeks. But yeah. like this past week's been really bad for the headaches. Okay. All about your neck and your head. And starting to be like my shoulder like there. Yeah. Like like all like here. Okay. Just really annoying as well. Alright. Anything else? No. No. Was there some other issue that you're planning to raise apart from your neck? No, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Any thoughts about what might be causing it? No clue. No idea. Never happened before? No. Oh, okay. Been doing anything that might have triggered it? No. Oh, okay. Has anyone else said anything about this? Do you discuss it with anybody? Yeah, my dad thinks it's me uni bag, that it's a bit heavy on my shoulder. Uh, okay. How heavy is it? Pretty heavy. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But is it plausible? Do you believe that? I don't know. Not sure. Because I carried on this shoulder. Alright. The rest of your muscles okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just okay. the headaches that are really annoying. Yeah. Tell me more about those. Just in the back. Here. It's really like... On one side or just at the whole of the back of your head? You know, like this side, are you? Particularly like, on the left hand side. Just like, uh huh. So, head and neck. Yeah. All feels sore. All the time, was it come and go? Come and goes, but yeah, it just comes and goes. Yeah, okay. What makes it worse? I think maybe it's like when I'm like doing a bit more and. So, activity? Yeah. Yeah. Including carrying? I don't know, maybe it's like. Say like when I'm sitting now, like I'm all kind of all right. Yeah. Like it is me neck sore. Like I don't have a headache. Well. Yeah. I don't think I have a headache, but like yesterday when I was at uni all day, honestly, my head was just killing. Try doing things and it hurts more uh -huh. when you're carrying your bag to uni, and y y your dad thinks <laughs> it's linked with that. Okay. Okay. Um, any thoughts about what it could be or what you were worried it might be? No. No. No, no clue. Not read anything or no, no, no alarmist reports no. from friends or from the internet or anything like that. No. Okay, you're well in yourself. Yeah, fine. No fever. No. Not been travelling recently. No. No. Okay. You look a bit anxious. Do I? Yeah. Is it? No. Just got going through quite a lot at the minute. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Well, my boyfriend. He's got cancer at the minute. Oh crikey, when was that diagnosed? In October. It just... It doesn't help. And how's he getting on? He's on... He's forced around to chemotherapy at the minute, which yeah. he's in the hospital right now. Yeah. But he's really unwell at the minute. What sort of cancer does he have? Um, but it's lymphoma. Okay. So he's really going through it, isn't he? And and so are you, consequently, as well, aren't you? I think we all are. Yeah. Do you think there could be a link with the stress and your pain, too? I think maybe he's here because of uni as well. I'm just trying to keep up, aren't I? Are you managing to keep up? I don't think I am. Yeah. Well, my lectures and things, no, which then are really helpful, so... Yeah. You sleeping okay? No, that's another thing, like, the, me neck, it's... Me oh. Yeah, so that's affecting your sleep, well, your sleep's affected and you're tense and your, uh -huh, your, and it's your, like, your muscles oh. are sore and everything, yeah. So they're all feeding off each other, aren't they? Ah. Uh -huh.
No, no, no. It's, it's helpful to know what's going on and to be able to help you with this, isn't it? Okay. Can I check about your general health? Uh-huh. Your mood? Okay-ish. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sleep, not great, but eating okay. Weight's been Oh, God, right. yeah, I'm fine yeah. with eating. Yeah, right. Okay, and, and you're managing to just about cope with university, but you've told uh -huh. your, your, co your supervisors uh -huh. about that. You don't need a note from me to... No, I'm fine. ...to take account of anything. No, all right. And you're living at home, home with, with your dad. mum and dad. Yeah, yeah. And, they're, and they know all about this, don't yeah. they? Yeah. All right. What were you hoping I would do for you today? To be honest, I don't know. Not sure. You <laughs> just because it'd been happening for a while, like it'd been hurting for a while, so I just thought. Yeah. I'd come and say, I don't know. Okay. Can I just check? There's nothing else going on there. So, no numbness or weakness in your arms no. or legs. On a pill. Yeah, I am. Which one? Don't know. Begins with an M. Microgynon? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And happy with that? Yeah. Not missed any right. pills no. or periods or anything like that? No. No chance of pregnancy at the moment? No. No. Okay. And your general health okay? Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's just have a quick look at your neck, if that's okay. No lumps in your neck at all? No. Don't mind. I don't think so. No, no, okay. Stand up for me and just slip your jacket off if you wouldn't. I've got one big jump out of here. Great. Pop your ear down to one side, then down to the other side. All right. Turn your chin just so you're looking that way, and then the other way. That's great. And put your arms up like that. Keep them there. Don't let me press them down. All right. And that's where you're getting the soreness, isn't it? So it's all muscular. Tension. <laughs> yeah. Tell me a bit more about your sleep and how that's been affected. I don't know, like, I'm finding myself, because I like to sleep on the side. And sleep obviously better on this side, and then I'll wake up during the night and I'm on this side, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, okay. So but it is annoying, because I keep waking up during the night and I'm like, oh, move over. <sighs> okay, okay, well, we've got a number of options. What you, you've got the options, and I'll try and put you in a picture to be able to understand to choose the best option for you, if that's all right. Uh -huh. um, it's a muscular tightness. A lot of it is linked with tension. Uh -huh. all right. And relaxation techniques will often ease that. So I could give you some, or you could look, at them, look them up yourself okay. if you prefer. Um, often massaging uh, will I had help, my mum massaging at the other day. Which is often <laughs> helpful. Uh, and sometimes massaging a, a, a kind of uh, top of a painkiller. got along as well. Did that help? Yeah, it did a little yeah. bit. So just relieving that uh -huh. muscular tension can make a lot of lot of difference. I quite often prescribe a, a cream called Algesal, which is uh, it's an anti-inflammatory painkiller, but it, it's mostly just a massage that helps more than anything oh, else. Right. So you could use something like that if you wanted uh -huh. to. Um, but there are other options that could help you sleep a little bit better, particularly because you're going through so much and could help you with the tension and with the pain. So one option would be to use a tablet called amitriptyline. Amitriptyline we commonly use as a, or used to use as, as a treatment for depression, but we now often use it as a painkiller, mm -hmm. or sometimes to help people to sleep. Mm -hmm. It does cause dryness in the mouth though, mm -hmm. and it can, but it can unwind you. Oh. So if you're finding you get persistent problems, we could think about using something like that if uh -huh. you wanted. Or you could try a simple painkiller. But we don't tend to find that simple painkillers are very constructive in the long term. You could use them short term. I was about to say, I've been taking like a paracetamol, but... Yeah. I, I wouldn't encourage you to use that regularly because it doesn't really help with tension. Uh -huh. So relaxation techniques, understanding that it's a muscular tension rather than anything else, and, and massage are probably the sensible things for you. But you could explore other options to help you have a more comfortable night's sleep if you wanted to. So rub on creams, maybe even amitriptyline if you wanted to. Does anything grab you from all of that? I think I might just try cream. Yeah, okay. Now it's probably cheaper for you to buy it over the counter unless you get free uh, prescriptions. Probably... Yeah. No, Do you want me to write that cream me. down for you? Yeah, please. And do you want me to give you any relaxation techniques? I'll I'll look them up. Yeah, look them up, yeah. Uh -huh, I'll right. be fine. Great. I'll just take that. If things are getting worse then by all means give me a telephone call. I will do. I think understanding where it's coming from. There, there may be an aspect of the heavy I'd school bag. Because you're quite slight, aren't you? And a big school bag mm. with lots of books and things in there, potentially can cause uh -huh. um, some extra things. But it's, it's muscular tension, muscular yeah, and relax. tension that are the issue. And I think 
having the chance to relax and share your troubles is often helpful, isn't it? Yeah. But if things are getting worse, then let me know. I will do. Okay. Right. Any queries? No, that's fine. Right. Good I'll luck try with this. You. Hopefully, it works. I thought so with you. It will work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Thank you. You're welcome anytime. Let's hear it for our GP. A way of looking inside holistically. Bring out the changes with our GP. Skills improving, risk removing, no confusing.